Hello everybody, my name is Maya and today I'm going to tell you more about one of the most important terms within the green movement, which is circular economy. Our current economic system focuses on constant growth, buying, selling, which depletes our resources, while circular economy preserves these resources by recycling and reusing them, while spending less energy. And one of the first things I would like to say is that if you are a young person wondering what you're going to do with your life, you can choose to study environmental sciences, or if you want to become an entrepreneur, you can choose to become a green entrepreneur and therefore help the development of circular economy in our country. As many of you know, you can just, um, if you can, recycle, use recycled materials and do your best to produce less waste. For example, if it's hot outside and you want to drink water, you can always bring a bottle with you. You just buy it once and use it as many times as you possibly can. Also, while I was living in Croatia, I bought this bag and it's a bag where you put vegetables and you put the price tag of the vegetables here and the cashier knows what it's about and she will just scan, scan it here and you're good to go. Instead of buying things that are brand new, you can visit thrift shops and buy them second hand. You can also visit outlet stores or go online and look for the things that you need. Um, while I was in Vienna, I visited a store that has a lot of donated second hand items and the proceeds from that store would be donated again to charity, which is another beautiful initiative. Also, one of my favorite words, which is activism. If you hear about an initiative or a group or a project, definitely go and support it, go volunteer. Also, if you have an idea of your own, search for support, search for advice, and you have no idea how much you can do. I have a couple of book recommendations for you if you'd like to learn more about activism, environmentalism and circular economy. Apart from our difficult political situation, one of the reasons why circular economy is developing so slowly in Bosnia is because we suffer from a lack mindset and we constantly need to compensate for it, we constantly need to show that we have more. And it's difficult to explain to people how less can be more, but I challenge you to think differently because this camera that I'm using to record this, I bought it secondhand and it did not uh, prevent me from sharing my message with you here today. So I really hope that you like this video. I'm gonna go home now and drink iced coffee because it has been a long day for me. So I really, really hope that you learned something today and that um, my work inspired you to do what you can and um, share your ideas to, so that we could live in a better world tomorrow. Thank you for being here with me. <laughs> Bye.